Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Today, I'm gonna be putting in five and three quarter. It's a German word. I'm a hillbilly from Tennessee. I don't know how to pronounce it. Got it off of Amazon. And I got this one because the reviews were better than some of the others. And it looks more like the Harley Daymaker. So, with that being said, Let's get to it. Okay. The reason why I'm doing an install on this is because shortly after I bought my breakout, I had a uh, headlight go out. And of course, a lot of the Harley lights have the little clip down here you unscrew and just pull the ring off. Mine don't have that. Mine is an aftermarket headlight. I don't know who makes it. The guy who had the bike before me had it installed apparently because the dealership didn't know either. So this one's gonna be mainly aimed at people who have these and don't know about it, how to get it out and all that. After I looked at it, it was really simple. But the first thing you want to do, cover your fender. Tuck it under so it don't roll off. That way if some part falls off, less likely to ding or chip your paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. This part here just unscrews. Actually, both of them unscrew. Just a regular ring. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna brush out the threads because it sounds a little gritty. So I know there's dirt in there. Next part. They probably make a tool for this. I don't know what the tool is. So I improvise. You got a hole here, a hole here, and a hole here. And all this does is rotate the bracket. Like so. Sometimes it gets hung up. So when I take this out, I'm gonna clean the threads, spray a little lube on the threads, make it a little easier to put back in. go too fast because you don't want to scratch your life. So. I'm going to set this here. And I'm going to pull this big cheap monstrosity out. Just unplugs. I don't know why Harley Davidson has not made it standard for LED lights. Because honestly, I'm better off holding a AA powered mag flashlight right here on my handlebars and seeing more than what I can see from this. But I am gonna keep it just in case. I'm gonna brush this out. I'll set it to the side too. And there's a little bit of dirt in here. You'd think I'd be smart enough to grab the compressor. I didn't feel like it. all that dirt out my toothbrush that I do not reuse this is my parts brush but I suppose if you got somebody in your house it's uh, like being you know like playing pranks use their toothbrush you'll get a kick out of it they will Oh, 
all I'm trying to do here is grease the threads so it's a little bit smoother of an install. And before I done that, I should have went ahead and wiped out the inside of the bucket just so my OCD don't kick my butt. Just knowing it's dirty. That's better. Yeah. Just in case any got down there. Alright, now to the headlight. This is a L-U-S-G-W-A-D, loose, loose wide grass, I, I don't know, I guess that I'm a hillbilly from Tennessee, I can't pronunciate that one, but it's made in China, I have a feeling that's a German name, it's this nice little uh, foam padding, I think I'll sit there and set my rings on top of, instruction manual, where that needs to be. Here's the headlight. I'm gonna put that back on in a second. That's the way it's supposed to go on the bike. And if you look, the only difference between this one and the Daymaker is right there in the center where those three lines are, there's no Harley Davidson emblem. But if you look at the Daymaker, they still have those three lines and a Harley emblem on top of that. Now, I don't plan on keeping this light. I'm only doing this to tie me over to Advan Black makes theirs because I have the Advan Black turn signals, which I did in my last video. So this is just one of those things to tie me over until they get their stuff made and I can have all Advan Black. So I spent 39 99 on it had free shipping on amazon right now i didn't i thought about doing it before and after at night with the bike but if you have a harley you know how much these lights the factory ones just don't work i will throw in a night shot for this because it's daylight now i think it's like two o'clock in the afternoon so I'll add that towards the end of the video so you can see a high beam, low beam. I probably I might actually take it to town and find a nice dark wall because I don't have nothing here I can really do it on. So what I plan on doing, I, let, I read the reviews, right? And there are some reviews and this ain't all on this light. This light here, and not only does it look like the Daymaker, but it's got four vents in the back, so that should stop any condensation. I did notice on other lights, they were talking about the plug here, these pieces being too long or they wasn't the right size and they fit loose in the harness. So what I'm gonna do is just plug it up and wrap it with a little electrical tape just in case. Cause I don't really wanna have to take this thing apart again just for a connection. Not that it's hard, I just don't feel like messing with it. So, we do our plug, and that fits pretty snug. But just for the safe side, I'm gonna put a little wrap of tape around her. And also, you can see in my bucket, I only have the headlight wires. If you have the factory, I know Sportsters, they complained about it and some other models. It was all full of wires, so it was like hard for them to push it in. I don't know what brand bucket this is, but it's the only breakout I have actually seen with one on there. And I know it's aftermarket, but I have not found who produces it yet. Because the ones I found that look close to it had like flames on the side. This doesn't, this is just all solid black, smooth, no flames. 
So if you do know who made it, put it down in the comments. Now you do have a, where is it at? Right over here, you got a tab. And I have it upside down, so it's right here, which meets this tab right here, keeps it from, keeps it straight, keeps it from moving around. If it will catch, apparently it won't catch. resistance so this ring has two different sides one's tapered one's not I'm gonna use the taper side against the light I'll try to do this without scratching anything I can still hear some grit in there, but it's not as bad as it was. Okay, that's nice and locked in. Now I'm done with that, I'm gonna use a rag here. Wipe any of the fingerprints off the chrome or grease or any of that I got on it. That looks a whole lot better than this guy right here. So, I guess what I'll do is flip on the ignition and see how she looks. So I got three on low beam. And high beam, they all light up. And that's pretty bright. I can't wait to get this thing out at night to see how it's gonna look. So that's as easy as that to change the headlight out. I will put a link in the description for the exact light through Amazon. And I don't know how long it's going to take Advent Black to make the new light. So it's going to be on here till the end. So when they do make it and I'll order one and put theirs in, I'll do a review on this. I don't see spending 400 and something dollars for a headlight you can get on Amazon for 40 bucks. <laughs> Looks exactly the same way. We'll just have to see about longevity and how the color is of the light with the low beam, high beam. I have seen some of them that I didn't really, it didn't look like the high beams were on to me looking at the pictures. But this is only temporary for me. I will, regardless, do a review whether it come, they make one 
in a month or two months or two years i'll still do at least one video in a year if it takes them that long which i don't think it will and if something happens beforehand where the leds go out or anything like that i will do a video and update it that way just in case you're already looking for a headlight currently and this one has already blowed out you know to stay you, know, you can make up your mind but i wouldn't get it if that was the case i do know this headlight they'd had a halo advan blacks i did not see any with halos for their seven inch so i just kind of went with this one instead of the halo because finally got the halo like the halo and then had to go to advan black and they didn't have the halo i'd be one of those things where it kind of swayed my opinion so i just went no halo and i won they had four of them up the black plane the black with the halo chrome and then chrome with the halo the black was 39.99 and i think the halos and the chrome one was all 49.99 if you click on the link in the descriptions it'll pull up it'll show all four but i will be back when it gets dark with a night shot so see you in a few minutes All right, those Advan black turn signals and things is bright. The headlight, I need to adjust it up just a little bit more for my liking. That's low beam. And sitting on the bike, and there is a slight incline here. So there's a bit of difference. That's the high beams. That works a whole lot better than what I had. Low beams, high beams. So I just need to raise the bucket up. Oh, coming over here, I thought the light was kind of angled. Like it wasn't sitting right in the bucket, but I think that's just the way I balance on the bike. But other than that, I can see now. So for $39.99 with free shipping, yeah, I'd recommend this light. It's the closest you're going to get to a day maker with looks and, and brightness. So, yeah, I would definitely... I would definitely recommend it. Let's see what the brights look like from the front. Oh yeah. Phew, that's bright. So like I said, this is the only time you over till Advan Black gets theirs in. Well, starts making theirs and gets it in. But with it getting darker, I, I am, uh, this light is growing on me. Growing on me quite a bit, actually. Still looks crooked. I guess the center of balance on this thing's off, or is this how I am on it? Everything on there is still tight, so... I guess I could have it. Well, no, I put it in the right indent because there was two indentions on it. I just have to probably get used to it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm thinking when I get this adjusted, I think uh, I will be, I think I'll be satisfied with it. I just want it to reach out a little bit further than what it is. And I, I've seen reviews where people were saying the light ain't bright, it only goes so far. I'm pretty sure you got to readjust your stuff every time you do it because especially if you do a regular stock headlight to an LED because the bulb placement itself is in a different location it's going to throw the angle of the light off so with that being said that's what I need to do next is probably raise it up just a smidge And I'll be good if I get caught out in the dark. So if you like what you see, I'll have a link down below in the description. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And ring that little bell over there for the notifications. Until next time, I'll see you later.